the uh, Lakers can do anything about taking advantage of. Bynum, box stop by Miller. It allowed Bibby to get the rebound. And the Lakers may need an early timeout. It's real early, but they're already down seven. Well, Phil Jackson uh, loves to let the players, especially like that, and then took over. Kobe. He might take over. Lakers get their first point of the contest. Two minutes and ten seconds in. And that's what Kobe did when they were down. And Brad Miller with the board. So the Lakers start the contest. Two for five. Five for seven for the Red Hot Kings. Bibby will get it back. Boy, as he killed the Lakers. And it continues for Mike Bibby, his success against the Lakers. And you can tell Bibby is not 100%. You can see the way he's really great. Kobe got there. Lost him a little bit. Well, back to the locker room went Kenny Thomas. It looked like he was cut potentially. Kobe, right on the right test. Well, Kobe, I mentioned 42, and you saw what he's done in the last five. An average of 37 against Sacramento. And Kobe rolled back. Aaron, even when he was a starter with the Philadelphia 76ers and logging many minutes, always played himself. He's one of those uh, just a very smart, talented player. Yeah, don't sag and help off Mike Bibby. Mike Bibby has killed the Lakers uh, in recent years. In fact, last seven against the Lakers, 27-point average on almost 50% shooting and 41% over those seven. From beyond the arc, as he gets a three-pointer, nine-point lead again. Kobe, quick catch and shoot, and Kobe has yet to miss four of four. He's in double figures with ten. Yeah, but you look at the scoreboard, and Phil Jackson is not happy about the 31 points. With a minute, get a piece of it early, but Raheem was fortunate enough to keep control and get the hoop. So it's back to a nine-point lead at 33-24. Lamar and Kobe. Kobe's got Sammons over the length of Sammons. Kobe, five for five. He's got a dozen. So single-handedly, like he did after the slow start against the Boston Celtics, Kobe keeping the Lakers right. But he's just looking to catch it and then pitch it back out. If you have an offensive-minded guy there, you're going to get a layup. Kobe, with a step through and marking it perfectly. The Lakers back down by nine, but Kobe's got stop though. Final shot time, Mike Kobe. No, they can't. He has killed the Lakers in recent years as Kobe. That's 14 mistakes in that direction. Frustration. You can see Bill Jackson. Good. Nobody's defense. guarding Bibby. Yeah, Bibby after he got rid of the basketball. Nobody went out to get him. You can't leave him open. I told you the last seven against the Lakers, a 27 point average. He's got 20 already. Look. Plumbie is right there. Let's go. Aaron McKee. Lakers don't have to rush. Kobe get the free throw line as well. And stop the ball from school. It'll be over Mike. He comes through. So they're back to within 11. Like we've seen uh, about a half dozen times now in the second half. But that's as close as they've been yes. able to get. Every time they've gotten to 11. Wish we could say it's been a good night so far. Lakers down by 10 as Lamar got one of two. Oh, it's 22 or 25 in the second half. Bibby catching shoot. I think that might do it. They were out of the gate, much puts it away. Now the Lakers almost give it away. What a recovery by Kobe. Can they get a three out of it though? That's what they need now. Kobe over Bibby. Yes! Minute 38 to play. Down to eight. But you need more takeaway. More stops. Kobe's got 30. So now you're in gamble mode, though. Because they're going to use up almost all of the 24. You've got to go out, pressure, and gamble. And you can't foul now that they're deep into the shot clock. It'll be Bibby over Bynum. It's been Mike Bibby's night. Ten-point game. He